So you need error correction, you need radiation shielding, you need Optimus robots who aren't gonna die of radiations like humans. It's a lot, okay? There's there's just a lot to this. It's not as easy as, oh, let's just put the data center in space. But the point is, SpaceX and Rocket Lab are kind of like the delivery systems to get up into space, right? So it doesn't really matter even who's doing the data centers, whether NVIDIA is shipping up their chips into space. I mean, gosh, talk about a literal like moonshot or, or this is all just like overhyped and a big bubble, who knows? But that's crazy. Obviously all the data center valuations could collapse and we're not gonna put data centers in space for 50 years if we have a data center bust, right? Like if the bubble pops, which I think could happen if Sam Altman goes bankrupt. If Sam Altman fails, his $1.4 trillion of commitments disappear. That means NVIDIA's guidance goes down. That means AMD's guidance goes down, right? Because the money that's going from OpenAI to NVIDIA is going from NVIDIA back into OpenAI and then to AMD. <laughs> it's, and it's going to, or it's, it's just a mess, okay? So like, could the whole thing pop and blow up? Yes. Is it a massive bubble? Probably. Do data centers in space seem cool? Yes. Do space janitors seem like the dopish ever? Hell yeah, dude. Like I'm so jazzed because like our VC is in on this and, and I'm just like, let's freaking go, dude. We, my venture capital company invested in two companies, SpaceX and Aptronic. And SpaceX is like a 4X and Aptronic, I mean, if they actually are raising at a $5 billion valuation, it's probably like a 6X. 